This episode is filmed during 24 hours. It's from day 9 out of 17 on our way across the Atlantic. Most days were very similar, but we tried to find something extra to celebrate every day. Today was a very special day. Let's start a few minutes to 1 a.m. when John's alarm went off, and it was time for his two hours shift on the helm. Since the autopilot gave up on us on the way to Cape Verde, and we didn't manage to fix it, we had to hand steer all the way. Luckily the winds and the waves were calm, so it was easy to steer the boat. close together and that they would go far so we could use their lantern as a lighthouse. It is so much easier to steer when you have something to aim at compared to just using the compass. We owe them big time. Thank you very much, Nels. Having a boat so close to you all the time makes the Atlantic so much smaller. We had contact with them at least once a day. We shared weather information, sail trimming tips, and discussed what to do with all the bananas that got ripe all that time. Four shifts per day. I have three, nine, three, nine. So every day at noon, we reported our position to the Viking Explorer Organization. This was both for safety and so others in the fleet and people on land could follow us. We plotted the, our position on the chart, both paper and digital. A special thanks to our onshore team Mats and Lotta on Luma 4 who sent us weather updates and other useful information and Kia who updated our Facebook page while we were off grid. We gave him this uh, Atlantic crossing. Uh, I'm sure he wasn't aware that he had to hand steer eight hours per day. So we have to compensate with some uh, champagne instead. And uh, also, uh, almost bigger is that he got married last year to Kia. So uh, we celebrate this as well. And uh, then we crossed the uh, halfway point, so now we have uh, closer to um, to the Caribbean than uh, to go back home. So this goes for a... Woohoo! Woohoo! 
It's this one. It's super uh, energy uh, saving. Uh, unfortunately, I can't do uh, this when uh, uh, at night because then I fall asleep. And then I fall asleep and wake up when the boat is turning, and I wake up like trying to figure out what's going on and I have to adjust. So, uh, but during the day, this is the best. Dinner is uh, fried bahu with rice and uh, lemon and chili mayonnaise and some carrots and cucumber and lemon and rice. Mm -hmm. second part of the crossing. Join us next week for the third and final part of Atlantic Lifestyle. If you have any specific question regarding sailing on the Atlantic, please contact us or write a comment below.